So this is going to be a very interesting story. It was actually from a couple of days ago. I don't know how this um, how this grazed over my head, how I missed it. But it says, so you guys remember Cory Booker back a while ago um, opposed a bill. He voted no along with, I think, 12 other Democrats to say no to an amendment by proposed by Bernie Sanders that would make prescription drugs cheaper for everyday Americans because it would allow the America to import drugs from Canada um, because they're 70% cheaper so we would then be able to get American uh, everyday Americans to you know be able to get their drugs and medication without you know suffering and living living in poverty so Cory Booker got unbelievable backlash and honestly he fucked up his image because now anytime we want to refer to a corporate Democrat and like make a joke or make something sound funny, we think of Cory Booker, right? He's like the token joke now for corporate Democrat. That's like our that's the image in my mind. Whenever someone says corporate Democrat, I think Hillary Clinton first. But number two is Cory Booker. It's hard to be Hillary Clinton. But anyway, so here's the interesting story. Cory Booker joins Bernie Sanders in backing drug reimportation bill. Damn, bro, what happened? What's your, what's the sudden change, huh? Is this another Hillary Clinton move? You know, oh, I've had an epitome, or not epi- epitome. I had another epiphany, and you know, I'm like 40 years old, 50 years old. But hey, man, my mind's still changing because I'm an unprincipled guy, and you know, it's great. But anyway, so here's what Huffington Post says. They say, um... The backlash caught Booker and his colleagues by surprise, and in many ways it presaged the furious energy that would be soon unleashed by progressives against both Trump and elected Democrats unwilling to stand up to him. It was a sign that things had changed in Washington and that standard operating democratic procedure would no longer be acceptable. The memo has been received. On Tuesday, Booker will join with Sanders at a press conference on Capitol Hill to announce his support for a drug reimportation bill. So I guess he finally decided that his popularity and approval among Americans is more important than the hundreds of thousands of dollars that he receives from the um, healthcare insurance companies. You know, he got, I think, 340000 just last year or something like that. He got a good, good amount of cash. Um, from a policy angle, Booker has previously been open to the idea of reimporting drugs from Canada and even voted that same night for a measure aimed at lowering drug costs. But politically, activists have long considered him to be a reliable ally of Big Pharma, which is a dominant industry in New Jersey. Thus, his break with the industry at a public event with Sanders is meaningful politically. If the goal of resistance has been to stiffen the spines of Democrats, it's working. Um, I can't believe what I'm reading right now. So, what it means is what we've been doing, all the all the videos posted by everyone, all the tweets, all the Facebook posts, all the Reddit posts, all the phone calls made to the representatives, all the emails, all the articles written from contributors, everything, every single little thing. Guys, it's working. It is working. We can continue Bernie Sanders' message. We just need to continue the fight. <coughs> I'm going to tell you a stat. of Americans consider themselves independents. Therefore, that means that a vast majority of the country are independents, meaning that if you can get those independents along with some Democrats, you're set. So we just need to work hard to relay our message and organize. Organize, 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 and that should be our goal. So, guys, keep fighting. Keep up the resistance. Keep up the, the outrage and everything. Keep them in check, most importantly. And we will continue to succeed like we have with Cory Booker.